it's because I do so have you all seen the MTG euphoria girls trend that's trying to happen on Twitter kind of like the goth girl one so I tried to do that one I tried but okay like this is literally like craft glitter that I just put on my face like yeah, that's it. I'm a I'm a card sphere euphoria girl. So see that? See that? It's a thing. It's a thing. Photoshop it? Yeah, I mean I guess I could completely Photoshop it. But I'm but I'm like looking at these pictures. Okay, so what is a euphoria girl? I didn't know either. I had to look this up. So there's a show on HBO called Euphoria. And it's like a coming of age show about these high school girls. And so like the aesthetic in the show is what we're trying to represent. So it's like, they're like super fashion forward. It's almost futuristic, but they have like, they put like these jewels on their face and I don't know. I don't know. I don't watch 
the show? I don't know. I didn't make it up. But like I have to participate, right? So I tried it, but I mean, listen, I put craft glitter on my face. So I don't know if I actually did it right whatsoever. It's a lame Gossip Girl. I don't know. I haven't watched either Gossip Girl or Euphoria. I haven't watched either one of them. So I don't know. I can't really say if it's like that. Um, so yeah, what's up? Here's Daisy. She's here joining us, sleeping. Daisy, wake up. What you doing? Hey, the people want to see you, Daisy. Come on, wake up. That's a good girl. Okay. <gasps> she looks like a demon. Look at her eyes. Oh, she looks like a demon. <laughs> She had red eyes, right? It wasn't just me, right? <gasps> Euphoria cat! Ooh. Yeah, but I don't want to put glitter on my cat, though. That would be mean. It's my chat. <laughs> Mr. Kitten was just like, what the hell is this? Looking at my screen. It's my chat. When I have full screen on, the chat is on the screen because... It's cool, and it's what people do. That was intrusive. <laughs> Your chat is out there no matter what. Whatever you say, it's on the internet, and it's there recorded forever for everyone to see, so you better be nice. That's all. Euphoria Husbands! I'm going to put glitter on his face. I'm going to put glitter on his face. Oh, <gasps> So it could be like MTG Euphoria Husbands. We can start that. We could start that trend. Let's do it. Let's totally do it. Okay, so we're actually here not to talk about Euphoria, but we're here to watch my week one round of the Venus and Mercury League tournament that I'm playing in. So I actually, I played it yesterday, but I recorded it and we're going to watch the recording together. So I hope that doesn't seem lame, but I've had a lot of, anxiety about playing in this event at all so I I just didn't really want to stream it live it would have been really stressful for me I, it just it would have been too much it would have been too much it's it's my first it's my first competitive thing so I just didn't want to stream it live but I recorded it it happened yesterday and we're gonna watch it together and this way we can like go over it and y'all can help me in a constructive way maybe and you know we can just talk about what went good what went bad what could have been done differently what was maybe done well if anything is that possible it would do you think anything was done well let's be real folks um yeah i think this is probably what i'm gonna do every week is just play it record it and then um share that recording with you all here live because that kind of takes a lot of stress off of me so let's do it let's get to it um okay i need to change my scene here's my video let's do it so if you don't know i played a rakdos sacrifice deck Oh, and I actually changed my deck list at the last minute, right before submitting it. So if you read my Card Sphere article, I talked about the deck list I was going to play, and I didn't end up playing that exact list, but I changed it a little. And I can actually show you all. Let me, um, sacrifice. Really? Really, Efren? Okay, let me pull up my actual arena, and we'll look at my deck list first before we watch the video. Also, I spent a lot of time today making an Alenda EDH deck. So yeah, it's happening. Vampires are happening. Ooh, what's in the store today? Okay, I have to look at this really quick because it could be something good. Oh, okay, it's not, it's not. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Okay, so this is the list I played. Um. Four gutter bones, four serrated scorpions, three village rites, four claim the firstborn, love it, one weaponize the monsters, 
three Meyer Triton, four Priest of Forgotten Gods, two Kroxa, four Woe Strider, four Mayhem Devil, three Rankle, and then my lands. Okay? So this is different from the list I posted. The list I posted was a lot more, um, it was a lot more bring stuff back from the graveyard. Like it had, actually it's like right here. Um, it had Luris as a companion, Archfiend's Vessel, and a lot of Call of the Death Dweller stuff, Fiend Artisan, Dreadhorde Butcher. Okay, so I ended up not playing that one because I was kind of scared of getting some graveyard hate. So I ended up playing this one with the Mayhem Devil, and I was just hoping to sacrifice a bunch of stuff, like grab my opponent's creatures with Claim the Firstborn, and then sacrifice them with either Priest of the Forgotten Gods, Village Rites, or even Woe Strider. So that's the deck I ended up playing. Just a little different. And I had Rankle, so it was like I had to do it, right? Okay, so let's just watch this. Here we go. This is my recording of my gameplay. I guess I can probably go forward a little bit. Here we go. So I was playing against Shemeshka, was my opponent. I almost tried to click on that, like I was doing it again. So, we did a tournament game. My opponent was playing Mono Green. So, I was terrified. Mono Green is very, very aggro-y. I didn't think there was video sound on this, but I hear it. So, there is video sound. Okay, I had the play. I had the play first. So, my opening hand, two Temple of Malice, a Fabled Passage... I was not super excited about this, honestly. But I was able to scry. The scrying, I was okay with that, so I kept it. I mean, it wasn't bad, so I kept it. My opponent was starting out with the Love Struck Beast. There it is, there's Belle, she's there on the field. Another scry land. I think I decided to keep this Kroxa. Yes, I did. I did. It made sense to keep the Kroxa. The sleeve choice was absolutely correct. Yes, the rats. So I was... Okay, so the Scavenging Ooze was in this deck, and this is the card that has the Graveyard Hate. So I was actually really glad I didn't play, my, I didn't play the other Rakdos deck because that would have been super unfortunate. Okay, I was thinking about my land I was going to play, I guess. It, it was some sort of struggle for me. Okay, I played a Fabled Passage in a Swamp. And then I played Kroxa. I expected my Kroxa to be um, exiled at this point on my opponent's next turn with the Scavenging Ooze. Because that would have been the smart thing for them to do and never let my Kroxa come back. Um, yeah, they're hovering over it. We can see that's what's happening here. Yeah, it got exiled. But that's okay because I got Kroxa out. So Kroxa was able to do its ability. And my opponent discarded a, a Yorvo. So that was pretty good. So I have a claim the firstborn now, which I'm very happy with. The the scariest creature in my opponent's deck was um, the questing beast for sure. That card is so good. Okay, so I just immediately went for it. I just immediately went for I used the claim the firstborn to get the ooze. I didn't want this to keep growing. You know, that I just felt like that was going to be real, real, real problematic. So I attacked with all that. And I sacrificed it with my Woe Strider. So that was good, right? That was, like, really smart. I felt like I was doing a smart thing. And I didn't need that. I didn't need that land, so I got rid of it. 
Okay, there's the questing piece. There's the big baddie. It's very scary. It was a pro gamer move, I know, right? Okay, so like also I couldn't block the questing beast with most of my creatures. Because what it has to be power it can't be blocked with something power two or less. So that was unfortunate. All my little chum blockers, useless against this thing. It's just a really good card. I mean, dang. Okay, so I cast everything in my hand. I'm out of cards. I'm out of cards now. But maybe I can... Maybe I can get Crooks out my next turn? I, I really don't remember. Okay, I didn't attack. I feel like that was smart. Nothing can withstand this questing beast. Okay, okay, okay. My Woe Strider is getting rammed through. Okay, so at this point, I was like, I just need to do damage. Okay, I can't block this questing beast. I can't even touch it. My Woe Strider was the only only thing that could have blocked it. So I'm, I'm sacrificing everything. I'm trying to do some damage here. I'm scrying so many lands. Look at this. A, a mountain, a swamp. And there goes my go- A castle locked way? So many lands! Okay, so now my Woe Strider is getting rammed. Yeah, it, it's dead. But, oh, my graveyard. I have six cards in my graveyard, so I might be able to bring it back. So I decided to bring back my Woe Strider. I could have brought back Kroxa. But... I don't know. Maybe I should have brought back Kroxa. I don't know. I wanted I wanted to I wanted to have the blocker with the Woe Strider and also have another thing and have Woe Strider's ability. So that's I brought that one back. If you had on full control, you can set Kroxa to Woe Strider to scry. Oh, when you cast Kroxa, if Woe Strider's already out. Okay. Yeah, I don't usually turn on full control, but I suppose that's the thing. I never thought about that. That's a really good idea. I will remember that for next time. Okay, so I thought the okay, so hold on a second. Hold on. Let me pause this. Let me pause this. I was talking I was talking over myself. Okay, so I thought that um when they attacked with the questing beast, I thought it was a trick because they have full mana up and I can block the questing beast and kill it with my wolf strider. So it, I had to do some thinking about, about this block, but I just went for it. I thought if there's a chance I can kill it, I've got to take it. So I did and they didn't have a trick. They had just had another creature and it was Yorvo. So that was okay. And the love struck beast is making more bells. Okay, so I got a rankle. So I felt really good about this because I can attack with rankle and then make them sacrifice something. I mean, I didn't have any cards to discard. So I did that and the sacrifice creature because I had that little goat. I could easily get rid of it. Oh, they had to sacrifice. They had, they had to um, discard a questing beast. So that was nice. Okay, they're attacking with Yorvo. I decided to chump block with my gutter bones. I felt like I could bring it back next turn if I needed to. Oh, okay, and they conceded. They conceded. So I won. I won a game. So I won my first game. So, okay, so I was really happy about that. Um sideboarding my sideboard i didn't really know what to do i really wanted to put in noxious grasp and i wanted to put in and grass rampage so that i could um i could get rid of 
What's that? Oh, the Great Henge. I wanted to be able to get rid of the Great Henge and or any green planeswalkers. So I swapped some stuff out for some of my little blockers that couldn't block the um, questing beast. So I had to do some really hard thinking. I'm, I have zero experience sideboarding, so I didn't really know what was best to get rid of. So I just, I just got rid of some of my creatures and put in some of this removal stuff. Hoping for the best. Oh yeah, I was trying to put in Angrass Rampage and find some, find a spot for it. So I dropped one of the serrated scorpions. Okay, so game two, game two is happening. Oh no, I messed up my thing. Why don't y'all tell me? Wait, 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 hello. Why aren't y'all telling me this, this isn't right? My God. Okay, so everybody just meant, no, I didn't. No, I didn't do it on purpose. That's magic for normies. This isn't magic for normies. I guess you saw it. Okay, come on people, come on. You gotta help me out. Okay, so this was my opening hand for the second game. Hold on. Yeah, I went, I went back. I've changed it. I'm good now. Okay, so. Um, I did not want to start with two black mana. I didn't. So I just straight up mulligan. Y'all know normally I would have kept that, but in this instant, I just, instance I felt like I just couldn't. I just felt like I couldn't. Oh my God. Hold on. We're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. It has my actual arena on top of that. Listen, thank you, Efren, thank you. Okay, we're gonna go back. I mean, my husband's sitting here watching and he's not telling me that, you know, n nothing in my video is visible. So thank you, Efren. Wow. Okay, my, my first opening hand was bad. I kept, I mulliganed and I kept the six. I got rid of a castle Lothwain. And I felt good about, I felt, I felt as good as I could about this. I've, I've already got, <laughs> I've already got some removal, so that's good. Worst euphoria husband I've seen. It's true. It's true, right? He's like not telling me. Nothing is visible on your stream. Pelt collector and scavenging ooze. Okay, this is already problematic. So I need to get some stuff on the board real fast. Real fast. Okay, so I put my serrated scorpion out there. I didn't want to use Claim the Firstborn because I didn't have a way to sacrifice their creature. Well, actually, I did draw village rights, but I couldn't have casted that turn. Okay, Pelt Collector is just growing. The Barkhide Troll is out. And that is the one where you can remove a counter and it gets um, hexproof. So I can't target that with anything. Um, sorry, Boltan. Okay, so I blocked with my scorpion. Uh, I don't know. I did some damage, but my opponent has three creatures up. So, I was a little nervous about that at this point. I was thinking about using my claim the firstborn and then my village rights to draw some cards and planning on just taking some damage the next turn i took the pelt collector oh you missed some of the wrong screen stuff okay perfect you missed a really terrible part Okay, they didn't block with the Barkhide Troll. 
that was disappointing, but understandable. Okay, so I used my village rights to sacrifice it. I drew some cards. I got a mayhem devil. I was feeling okay about that. The scavenging ooze. It's getting some counters. Okay, so Vivienne came out. Everything from deer to dinosaurs. But I had some really great removal. Not quite fast enough because I just took eight damage. Ouch. Whoa. Yeah, um, Vivian's kind of nasty with those counters. So I was deciding what to do here. I have both Angrass Rampage and Noxious Grasp, so I could kill a creature and Vivian. And that's what I decided to do. So I got, I was able to get rid of her very fast. Oh, but here comes the questing beast, and I still have no creatures out. So I'm down to three. I'm down to three life. Ouch. Here we go. Big yikes. I'm getting some land from my fabled passage. Okay, so at this point, I was just like, I don't know. I can block the questing beast with the woe strider. And... I don't know. So the claim that first one doesn't work on the questing beast, so that's very disappointing. Very disappointing. My opponent's attacking with all. I'm I'm terrified. I'm terrified right now. Cause I have three life left. My opponent has sixteen. I decided to just block everything. Because I wasn't going to give up. And check this out. I was going to use my village rights. And then I was like, oh, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. I'll sacrifice my goat first. Do a little scry. Oh, I don't need that land. Get that out of here. Then sacrifice my woe strider to the village rights and draw some cards. And... Get a Priest of Forgotten Guys in a Swamp. Want, want. And my opponent casts Scavenging Ooze. So, I was just like, oh shoot, am I just dead? But, I actually had enough mana to cast all three of these creatures in my hand. Pro gamer move! I know, it's like totally legit. Okay, so, I don't know. I was like, at least I have blockers for now. Not that this is particularly helpful. I can't use Priest of Forgotten God's ability yet. But, I just, I didn't want to give up. I just wanted to keep trying just... In case there was some sort of like mighty ducks miracle that was could have happened, you know? Uh, yeah. So the scavenging ooze is getting counters. Here comes the great henge. Uh oh, this is bad because it gives my opponent life and a lot of mana and just pretty much everything in the whole wide world. So, uh oh. Uh oh. So here I go. I'm just chump blocking everything. I'm I'm I w I'm not giving up yet. They didn't have trample. I know, right? They did not have trample right now. So I gained some life. Okay, I'm not I'm not out of it yet. Oh, well, okay. Yeah, I guess I am. So I think I I think I could cast Croxa and then escape Croxa. I had, no, I didn't have enough mana. Nope, because I needed two reds, two black and two reds. Yeah, so that was all I could do, literally. 
I mean, I guess I could have used the castle lock wing, but that would have been all my mana. No trample on this economy. I know, right? I don't know if my opponent's deck had anything with trample or anything that gives trample. I, I'm not sure. Yeah, so, I mean, at this point, I was dead. For sure. I got nothing. Absolutely nothing. So, game two, I lost. I lost. So, right now, it's one and one. One and one. Okay, so this is it. This is what it's coming down to. Game three. I was, at this point, I was already... I was happy enough because I just didn't want to go in and completely get blown out. So I was happy. I was pleased that I had already won one game. So game three, I was like, I got, I can do this. I got this. I'm fine. I had a pretty good opening hand. I was happy with my opening hand. I felt like um, I had the Embereth Shield Breaker to get rid of the Great Henge if that came out. I had enough mana, so I was I was okay with that. You, you can cut the tension with a knife. I know, I know. It was like it was like me and Shemeshka. Just it was so close. Okay, it was so close. I mean, actually, that last game was not close, but I like to imagine it was. Okay, I got a priest out, and I got a mayhem devil out. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. I got a noxious grasp in my hand. I got an Aberrath Shield Breaker in my hand. I've got removal. I'm I'm okay. Okay, I'm drawing a second Blood Crypt. Okay, I'm drawing a second Blood Crypt. I don't need that. I really don't need that. Um, like I literally don't even want to cast any of the stuff in my hand right now. I'm just holding it and just waiting. So I was looking at what was going on, and I was just like, I'm gonna wait. We both still have 20 life. This is the beginning of the game. I'm okay. One one player is going to walk out of this match a winner, and the other is just going to walk out of here. It's true. It's true. Okay, there's Vivian. There's Vivian, but I have a Noxious Grass. I have survived Nico Bolas, it's, I will survive you. Wow. It's really upsetting that I can't get rid of her before she does her ability, though. You know? So they're still getting the counters and the trample until the end of turn. So big yikes right here. This is going to be 10 damage. This is going to be 10 damage. Hi, thank you for being here for the support. I also know nothing about standard, but here I am. I was playing this event. This is, I played this game yesterday and I recorded it. And um, today I'm just sharing it with you all. Hi, Muhammad. Hey, this is actually game three of my event. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I was talking, so I'm gonna go back a little bit. Okay, so my opponent got, okay, my opponent's gonna do 10 damage here to me. Okay, so I got my priest, but I can't do anything with it because I don't have another creature. So I decided to chump block with my Mayhem Devil because I didn't want to take the 10 damage, use my Village Rites to draw some cards, get rid of that 1-1 one, one human so now the Love Struck Beast can't attack me the next turn. Okay, and I draw, I drew two lands. I drew a Mountain and a Temple of Malice. At least I could scry, so I was like, do I want the Scorpion? I, do I or don't I? Do I? I'm, I'm deciding so hard here. Okay, so I kept it. I kept it. I kept it on top. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I got hit. I got hit real hard. Hey, you know what? Hey, you know what? You know what I just realized? The, the creatures had trample. So I sacrificed the Mayhem Devil. But it didn't block the Love Struck Beast because the Love Struck Beast had Trample. I just realized that. So, 
I wonder if I should have sacrificed the priest or just left them both up there. But I got rid of the 1-1 one, one human, so then I was trying to shut down the Love Struck Beast, so I did accomplish that. But really, I don't know if that was a good idea. I don't know. Okay, so I don't know. I don't know, okay? I don't know. I don't know how to play that well. I'm just doing the best I can, which isn't very good. Okay, so I kept the scorpion on the top. I'm getting really, I'm getting really anxious at this point. I'm down to 11 health. I haven't done any damage to my opponent. I don't have creatures. My priest is just useless at this point. So useless. I'm not going to block with the priest, but I don't have creatures to sacrifice to her. So this is really unfortunate. Okay, my opponent is casting a stone coil serpent, making it a 1-1, one, one, so now the love struck beast can attack again. Shoot! I messed up there. Okay, so at this point, I'm using the noxious grass on the love struck beast because it's just too big. Okay, they're attacking with the Bark Hide Troll. I really don't want to block with the Priest. I don't. That's not what it's for. So I didn't. I just took it. This is not going well. Another Bark Hide Troll. A Serrated Scorpion's not going to keep me alive at this point. Okay, so now I'm thinking, Hi there! Hi, Olive in the Sky! Hi! Um, so, okay, so, 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 so what I try to do here, so by the way, anyone that just popped in, I played this, I played this match yesterday and I recorded it because it was going to be too stressful for me to live stream it. So now we're watching the replay of it together and we're learning. That's what we're doing. We're learning. Okay, so right now I'm trying to cast the Serrated Scorpion and I realize I can cast the Adventure on the Embreath Shield Breaker and both the creature because I have enough mana to do both. So it was like, oh, I'll destroy target artifact with the Adventure part and I'll get rid of the Stone Coil Serpent. Okay, so it's going away, goodbye. All right. And now I'm casting the second creature. Okay, so now I can use my priest and sacrifice both of my creatures and make my opponent sacrifice one of theirs. But, like everyone else, I'm just going to wait until my opponent's turn to do it because that's what you do. Oh, Olivia. Hi, Olivia. Thank you for coming by. Okay, so, oh my gosh, my opponent's casting another Stone Coil Serpent. Okay, so, 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 I've, I've already rewatched this. This is, this is where I made a, this is where I made a big mistake. Hi, Doug, what's up? Okay, this is where I made a big mistake. So, right now, my plan already is to use Priests of the Forgotten Gods to make them sacrifice one of their creatures. So, now they've cast another 1-1, one, one, and I don't really care about a 1-1. One, one. So, of course, that's the one they're going to sacrifice. But where I messed up was, you know, there's a split second here. Let me show you. No, not here. I went too far back. I'm sorry. Okay. So, there's a split second he, 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 here. 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 Right here. Right here is when I should have used my priest's ability. Before that Stone Coil Serpent came out, I already knew it was one, X was one right there, you can see it. So what I should have done was use priest right then and then they would have had to sacrifice one of their Barkhide Trolls. But I didn't because I'm not really very good. Oh, Jake says hi too, hi Jake. 
um, doing teacher stuff, that's okay. So I messed up right here. I didn't, I should have sacrificed the creatures before, before the stone coil serpent resolved, but I didn't, I messed up. It was a pretty bad mistake. Because now if I did it, they're just gonna sacrifice a one one, so like, what's the big deal? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Yeah, I messed up. I did, I messed up. But I did use these creatures to block, so I didn't actually take any damage. And I would have taken, I mean, I guess they would have sacrificed the 3-3, three, three, and so I would have taken 4. So, I don't know. They sacrificed the Stone Coil Serpent. I drew a castle Lockthwain. These lands, oh my gosh. Okay. The, the, I'm, I'm getting a lot of land, but I'm not dead yet. Okay, there's another Stone Coil Serpent. There's like so many. This was what, their third one? I drew a swamp, like I just drew a swamp. I'm getting so desperate at this point. I'm just like, I gotta draw. I drew a Fable Passage! What? This was me. This was me while I was actually playing this. Um, yeah, Stone Coil Tribal, like what is this? I know, time to cut the lands, apparently. I mean, completely flooded. I'm down to two. I'm down to two life. I chomp block with my priest and I have no creatures left. There's no way I can draw something. I don't have board wipes. Another serpent! That's the fourth one! Yeah, it's Daisy. She's hanging out. She's probably gonna run away in a minute because I'm screaming. Hi, MTG Brews. It's okay if, if if your stream isn't working at work, but I appreciate you stopping by. Okay, so I cast my Kroxa. And then I was like, okay, I can recast my Kroxa. They're taking damage. Look at that. They didn't have any cards. They had no cards to discard. So they're taking damage. And I was like, I am not going down with that effect here. I'm going to do as much damage as possible. So I did. I, I tried, I tried so hard and got so far, but in the end, you'll see, you'll see. I couldn't even kill the Stone Coil Serpent. It's, it has protection from multicolor. Dead, dead, I died, I lost, I lost. I lost everybody. I lost. I lost my first round. I did. I really did. Yeah. It's sad. It was sad. But truly, I was not upset because I won the first game. The second game, my opponent, I felt, had really good draws and, and did well. And then in my third game, I made some mistakes and I got flooded. So... I, I really felt like there was nothing I could do about that third game. But I was I was I was happy overall. So what I'm gonna do, I've seen some updates to this deck. So every week you can submit a new deck list. I mean you have to submit a new deck list. I guess y'all probably know this. I've never done anything like this before, so I don't. But um, let me share my screen again. Okay, this is actually my arena. Okay, so I found some updates to the deck list. Okay, so I think I'm going to try to do this list right here. It has Gutter Bones, Serrated Scorpion, Croak Sub, Mire Trident, Priest, Mayhem Devil, Woe Strider, Claim the Firstborn, Village Rights. These are all cards I already have. Bolus is Citadel? Whoa. Okay, that's interesting, right? Bastion of Remembrance. I like that. And Timerat Calls the Dead. 
So, I think I'm going to try this list. It's a, it's, it's a little bit different, but not that different. Let me just copy it and see if I can put it in my arena right now. Import. Can I? Oh, I don't have everything. I don't. Is this it? What am I missing? A Bastion of Remembrance. One Bastion of Remembrance? Okay, heck yes. Oh my gosh, I don't have enough wild cards. It must be my sideboard. Oh, I don't have any, I don't have any rare wild cards. I mean, I have a, like a million common and uncommon. Okay, sorry, Bone Crusher Giant. We'll come back to you later. So I might try playing with this um, throughout the rest of the week and see how it goes, if it's any different. I do like the Citadel, yeah. I saw, um, I saw uh, Philippa, whose deck this is, she posted on Twitter that this, I don't know if she was joking, but she said the deck had a 100% win rate when she played it for like a couple of hours. Is that possible? Is that possible? Was she joking? Is that even a thing? I can't have a 100% win rate, right? That would be insane. I'm gonna have to. The Twilight Panther looks just like Daisy. It kind of does. She just needs like a fancy gold necklace. Very fancy. Okay, so I need to pick out sleeves for this deck. Let's see, what do we got here? I had the rat sleeves on the other deck and I really like that. Um, ooh, let's do the tattoo one. Cause that's really cool. I haven't gotten my Summer Drop Secret Lair yet and I'm really sad about it. Because they're so cool and I want them. Okay, so I'm gonna change this. VML week two, maybe? So we'll try it. Um, yeah. You you made a deck once that had a 105% win rate. <laughs> <laughs> what? It is it's not impossible, but like it seems improbable. Right? Right? Maybe? Let's try let's try a game with this and see what happens. Here we go. I never play arena on stream, but we're doing it. Um, I guess I'll play ranked. Why the heck not? Play. This is getting real. This is the most real stream I've played in a long time. So, yeah, I lost. But I've learned some things, and that's what's so important, right? That I've learned things. Swamp Swamp, Mountain, Croaks of Mayhem, Devil, Time Rat Calls the Dead. Honestly, I don't even know what this does. Mill three card game, exile a creature, enchantment from a grave. Do create a black flag zombie creature token. Huh. Do I have other zombies? I'm gonna keep this. Okay, whatever. It's, it's, it's different, it's different. We're gonna try it out. Halloween costume for Daisy this year, oh yeah. Um, let's see, we'll just go uh, Fabled Passage because can't play anything this turn anyways. Oh, look, my opponent is playing the uh, Fibble Thop, Fibble Thip, Fibble Thop, or Thip, however you want to say it, is fine with me. Okay, here we go. Croaksa, let's do it. Let's make our opponent discard. We're going to be so mean. Time Rat helps cast Croaksa. Oh, that's a good point, because I'm putting stuff in my graveyard. Yes, yes. Thank you, Colin, for hanging out. Yes, Colin is going to be playing some EDH on his stream in just a little bit. Rankle! You can't play my own buddy against me! Are they gonna make me discard? Ooh, that would be so sad. They didn't! Whew! Okay, that was close. Um should I do should I do timer at next? I feel like my opponent's playing something that's like super aggro-y. I can't block Rankle. That's for dang sure. You know what? We're doing it. We're going to put this down. We're going to put this down. We're going to lay it down. It's going on the field. Uh, 
But I don't want to. I don't want to get rid of Croxa though. So we'll just decline. Did I just? Did I just fail at that? I mean, obviously, I don't want to exile Croxa. Edgewall Innkeeper. Okay, so I guess they're maybe like doing some sort of little Golgari adventure thing. Okay, cool. Tape some extra eyeballs on her head. Why? The Twilight Panda didn't have extra eyeballs. Okay, so I'm taking damage. Okay. They attacked me with a Paradise Druid. Wow. What just happened? No three cards. Then you may exile a creature or enchantment. I'm pretty sure I can't bring like, okay, gutter bows can come back, so I'll exile this. Okay, 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 here we go. We're gonna get some things out here. Now, though, Rankle, though, is a problem. I can't block Rankle. Whenever a creature control dies, the opponent loses a life and you gain a life. I like that. Um, I think I'm gonna cast the Woe Strider, though. What does this do? You gain X life and scry X for X is the number of zombies you control. Okay, I control one zombie. That's a horror. Okay. Well, hey, one one is one. Oh, for the oh for the Luris costume. You want Daisy to be Luris for Halloween? Seriously? Why are you doing this to me right now? I guess I'll use my village rights. Um, so I can draw some cards. Right? Did this, did this deck have claim the first four? Oh, it does, there it is. Oh, heck yes. Okay, this is fine. Ooh, okay, I can get their wrinkle next turn. Wait, can I? No, I can't, it costs four. Shoot. Um, sure. Wow. Okay. 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 Um. I'm going to play to life. And I drew another timer at Calls the Dead. Oh my god. Oh, can I bring Kroxa back? Yes, I can. All right, Kroxa is coming out. Exile five other cards. Two, three, four, five. Okay. Croxy is coming out. Oh, their Murderous Rider does go to the graveyard. Yes, yes, yes. I, I, I didn't even do that on purpose because, you know, it was a happy accident. A very happy accident. No attacks. I still can't block Rankle, though. I can't block Rankle, nor can I claim the Firstborn Rankle. So that makes me sad. What the heck? Uh, how did they have another one? Seems totally unfair. Totally unfair. I should have had Bastion of Remembrance out this whole time. What can I do now? Like, I can steal their creatures, but they're not any good. And I can't even kill their creatures. Ah, uh, shoot. Okay, um, one, two, three, four, five. I have like so many cards and not I'm not getting mana. So I really, I can't block the Mayhem Devil. I can't do anything. I mean, I can't block Rankle. My Mayhem Devil could kill him if he could block him. Dang. Yeah, I don't I don't think I can do anything here. I just don't. It's real unfortunate. Stop it, Rankle! Oh, all they have to do is make me draw a card and lose a life. Yeah, there we go. There we go! Okay, so their death looked fun too, right though? 
Right, though? I lost. Look, I'm in bronze tier two. Okay, I'm gonna try this one more time. Oh, there's a hair stuck to my glasses. Gross. All right, let's play, let's play one more game. And then by that time, I will see if Colin has started his EDH stream and then I will send y'all over there to him. We will see. Okay, maybe we can win a game. Maybe. Um, okay, I guess. I mean, I don't love this, but I also don't love to mulligan, so you know how that goes. Oh, okay. Um, ooh, let's actually play this Scryland. Kroxa! There's Kroxa. Okay, we want to keep Kroxa. What is our opponent playing? The same thing? Really? Really? Well, guess what? How about this? Croxa, that's right, discard a card. What'd they discard? Back for more? Wow. They're bringing stuff back from their graveyard. I like doing that. Can't really blame them. Okay, so I guess I'll get my mayhem double out there. And we will see. Nightmare Shepherd. Oh, yikes. I'm, I'm not destined to win any games today, am I? Okay, they're making a sapperling. And Nightmare Shepherd is doing his thing. Okay. Um, I can't even get Nightmare Shepherd. Boo. I'm, I can't block flyers. It seems troublesome. Um, I don't really see any point in using Claim the First one on stuff. Unless I can sacrifice it, you know? I mean, I guess I'll do it anyways, YOLO. I'll get some damage in. Okay. Okay. What is this Golgari stuff though? Oh my gosh. Hi. <sighs> Yep. Okay. 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 It has death touch too. Lovely. Real lovely. Um, I guess I'll cast Kroxa. I don't know if this is gonna keep me alive. I don't think it is. But we're doing it anyways. Oh, they'll have to discard their one card in their hand. That's right. Dead weight. Get rid of that. Look at that bunny rabbit. What is that? I don't even know. Okay. 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 Okay, it's fine. This is fine. You know what? This is fine. It's gonna be okay. Um, I guess I'm just dead, right? <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I can't do anything. 
something, something had, oh, it's a marmot. Yeah, yeah, I think you're right. Something has happened. The, the arena algorithm is destroying me, it's true. And like with these, with these red and Golgari decks too. Like, whoa! I wanna play some Golgari. I am not destined to win today. You know what? Maybe it'll be, maybe I'll be destined to win next week and I can win my VML round too. That would be fabulous. I'm gonna I'm gonna try out this deck some more and see how I feel about it. Um minus minus eight isn't that bad, I guess, right? Negative eight health. It's not that bad, right? It's okay ish. Um, yeah, so let me see if Colin is streaming. And if he is, I'm gonna send y'all over there. Colin, are you live? Colin's not live. Colin's not live, so we're gonna hang out. We're gonna hang out here for a minute. That's right. You've lost harder than that? Yeah, so have I. I'm pretty sure I I'm pretty sure I lost harder than that on one of those um one of those uh, VML matches. Pretty sure I got greater than minus eight. But it's okay. It's really okay. Sometimes you gotta play a deck for a while before you can win with it. <laughs> if you are in the negative double digits, you aren't living. Yeah, it's true. It's true. You've got to live a little. Um, Colin? Has Colin gone live? Colin O'Clock? No, he hasn't. He really hasn't. Um, I want to look at, actually, really quick, I want to look at this sideboard on here because, oh, let me change this back. Magic Arena. I'm really bad at sideboarding and I don't know how to do it. So I just kind of do the best I can. Um, so many people are playing that Sultai deck, so I feel like Noxious Grasp is necessary for sure. I really liked Angrass Rampage too. I guess I have one more spot here in my sideboard. I could add it. And graph. Doing it. There we go. And I'm gonna apply styles too. Yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah, I just feel like everything is so aggro, so aggro-y and I don't know. These are, they're kind of aggro-y, but not super aggro-y. So it might not be fast enough, but we'll see. I'm gonna try it out some more. Um, and maybe that's the one I'll play. Maybe not. Um, yeah, I might just send y'all over to somebody else if Colin. Isn't going live. Um, yeah, I will send you over to, um, how do you say her name? How do you say her name? Tell me. It's Mythic Michaelia? Is that right? Tell me if it's right. Is it? Okay, we're gonna go raid her channel and um, she, it's one word? Michaela? My, Michaela? Is that right? Is that right? Oh no, it's not. Mick Michaela? Michaela? Oh, like Michaela? Kind of like Michaela? 
Oh, gotcha. Okay, that makes sense. I just didn't think about the spelling. Wow, thanks Efren, you helped me not sound like a fool. I mean, I already sounded like a fool, but she wasn't here because she's streaming right now, so yay. Um, yes, yeah, so thank you all for hanging out and um, watching this with me. I will be back next week and we'll do it all over again with my next match. So let's send a raid over to Mythic Michaela. Um, she's playing some arena, so tell her I said hi. And have a great night, everybody. Bye.